Hey, welcome to the Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm gonna to talk to you guys about deleting entries in the database uh, when they have foreign keys associated to them. So this is actually a uh, pretty interesting topic. And over here in our company database, we have a pretty complex database schema, right? We have all sorts of um, foreign keys that are linking between all sorts of places. And I wanna to post to you guys a scenario. Right, so imagine over here, I have my branch table and I have my employee table. So imagine that I came over here in my employee table and I deleted one of the employees, right? So let's say that I deleted uh, Michael Scott, right? So over here we have this employee, um, Michael Scott, and his branch ID is two. So Michael Scott has a foreign key here defined, which is branch ID, right? So branch ID, uh, Michael Scott's branch ID is two which means that Michael Scott belongs to the Scranton branch, which is right down there, right? But let's pose something like, imagine that we were to delete Michael Scott from the database, right? Well, what's gonna happen to this manager ID down here? So if we delete Michael Scott, we delete the employee with ID 102, what's gonna happen to the manager ID, right? The manager ID is supposed to be linking us to an actual row in the employee table. But if we delete Michael Scott, then all of a sudden 102, that doesn't mean anything, right? Because Michael Scott's gone. His, uh, his employee ID is no longer inside of our employee table. And this is what I'm gonna talk to you guys about today, which is um, different things that we can do in order to handle this situation. So specifically, I'm gonna to talk to you guys about two things. One is called on delete set null, and the other is called on delete cascade. So there's really two things that we can do um, when this situation occurs. And so the first thing would be on delete set null. And on delete set null is basically where if we delete one of these employees, that means that the manager ID that was associated to that employee is gonna get set to null. On delete cascade is essentially uh, where if we delete the employee whose ID is stored in the manager ID column, then we're just gonna delete this entire row in the database. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys basically how this works. So over here, um, I actually have the code for creating this branch table. And this is the code that we used in one of the previous videos when I was showing you guys how to create this database. You'll notice over here on the branch table, it says foreign key manager ID references employee employee ID. And over here I said on delete set null. Basically what I'm saying here is that if the employee ID in the employee table gets deleted, I wanna set the manager ID equal to null. And so let me show you guys uh, how this is gonna work. So over here, I'm gonna go ahead and delete Michael Scott from the database and we'll see what happens. So I'm just gonna go ahead and type out delete from employee where employee ID is equal to and we're just gonna put Michael Scott's employee ID, which is 102, and I'm gonna go ahead and run this, and you'll see over here it says one rows affected. But I wanna show you guys what happened inside of the branch. So I'm just gonna select all from branch, and let's go ahead and run this. You'll see down here, the manager ID is now set to null, and that's because over here, because we deleted Michael Scott, right? So we deleted the Michael Scott, the 102 entry in the employee table. And so now the manager ID, which was storing that as a foreign key is just gonna be set equal to null. And that's because that's what we defined up here. So in a situation like that, because we said on delete set null, now that entry is just gonna be equal to null. And the same thing actually happened um, inside of the employee table. So if I was to, select all from the employee table and I ran this, you'll see now that a lot of these supervisor IDs are also set equal to null. And if you remember back to when we created the company database, when we created the employee table, the super ID also had on delete set null associated to it. And so that's why when we deleted Michael Scott, all of the employees, namely these three employees right here, who had Michael Scott as their supervisor, you can see all these employees um, we're at branch number two. All of their super IDs ended up getting set equal to null because we had on delete set null there. So that is on delete set null and that's basically how that works. I wanna show you guys also how on delete cascade works. So we have this branch supplier table and the branch supplier table um, 
also had a foreign key like this, but instead of saying on delete set null, we said on delete cascade. And when we use on delete cascade, what that means is that if the branch ID that's stored as the foreign key in the branch supplier table gets deleted, then we're just gonna delete the entire row in the database. So down here in branch supplier, you'll see that I have all of this stuff, right? So I have like hammer mill supplies paper to branch ID two, or Uniball supplies writing utensils to branch ID number two. If I was to delete branch two, in other words, if I was to delete the branch that had an ID of two, then all of the rows that had branch ID two here would just get deleted. So I'm gonna show you guys how that works. So over here, we're gonna go ahead and do that. So we're just gonna delete from branch where branch ID is equal to two. And so when I go ahead and delete this, what's gonna happen is all of those branch supplier rows are gonna get deleted that uh, had two as their foreign key. So now I'll just select all from branch supplier. And when I run this query, you'll notice that there's no longer any branch IDs two in here. In other words, there's we got rid of all of the suppliers that supplied branch two when we deleted branch two. And that's what on delete cascade is gonna do for us. Instead of just setting those equal to null, it's gonna go ahead and just delete them entirely. So uh, now that we kind of understand the difference between those two, I wanna talk to you guys about the different situations where we might use them. And actually the uh, branch supplier table and the branch table are actually really good examples. So in the branch table, we used on delete set null. And it was okay for us to use on delete set null because the manager ID on the branch table is just a foreign key. It's not actually a primary key. And so the manager ID isn't like absolutely essential for the branch table. However, if we look down here in the branch supplier table, you'll notice that the branch ID, in other words, the foreign key here is also part of the primary key, which means the branch ID on the branch supplier table is absolutely crucial for this row in the database, right? And so if the branch ID here, if this branch disappears, we can't set this to null because a primary key can't have a null value. Right? And so this can't be null, we have to just delete the entire thing. And so that's why we use on delete cascade um, as opposed to on delete set null. And honestly, you know, it's really up to you which one um, you want to use, but just know that if you have a situation like branch supplier, where a foreign key is also a primary key or also a component of a primary key, then it always has to be on delete cascade. Otherwise, um, you're gonna run into trouble. So that's the basics of those different on delete. So on delete set null and on delete cascade. And both of those are extremely useful uh, when we're defining foreign key relationships between tables. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve. So if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.